I'm Amani, a Trust and Safety Associate here at the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a graphical user interface in an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance running on Amazon Linux 2. Let's get started. Before you proceed, first consider one of these alternatives for manually installing a GUI. Launch from an Amazon Linux 2 AMI that comes with Mate pre-installed. For more information, check the links in the Knowledge Center article associated with this video. Start using Amazon Workspaces, a fully managed persistent desktop virtualization service that allows your users to access the data, applications, and resources they need anywhere, anytime from any supported device. Start using Nice DCB, a high-performance remote display protocol that provides customers with a secure way to deliver remote desktops and applications streaming from any cloud or data center to any device over varying network conditions. To proceed with the manual GUI installation, follow these steps. Install the Mate Desktop Environment, a lightweight GUI based on GNOME 2 available as an extra for Amazon Linux 2. Install a virtual network computing service such as Tiger VNC. Connect to the GUI using the VNC. Optional, install a web browser such as Chromium or Firefox. Note that both Chromium and Firefox are only available in the X86 variant. These instructions apply only to an Amazon Linux 2 operating system. To confirm the version that you're using, run this command. For instructions on accessing an EC2 Mac OS instance using a GUI, see the article linked in the Knowledge Center article associated with this video. Before you begin, connect your instance as an EC2 user using SSH. The EC2 instance must be in a public subnet and accessible through a public IP address or an elastic IP address. Or you can establish a connection using AWS VPN or AWS Direct Connect that allows you to access your instance through a private IP. These instructions don't apply to environments using a base and host. For security reasons, traffic to the VNC server is tunneled using SSH. It's best practice to avoid opening VNC ports in your security groups. Update your instance by running sudo yum update and then reboot the instance. Failure to update and reboot can lead to unpredictable results when following the next steps. Install mate packages. Define Mate as your default desktop for all users. Install Tiger VNC Server. Configure a VNC specific password containing 6 to 8 characters for this user. When asked if you want to enter a view only password, press N. Restrict VNC network access to the local host so that VNC can be accessed only by using a secure SSH tunnel. Create the Tiger VNC configuration directory. Create a mandatory configuration file containing the local host option. Start the VNC server on display number one and cause it to always start at boot time. Create a new system D unit. Use the SED command to replace all occurrences of user in the new unit with EC2 user. Reload the systemd manager configuration. Activate the service. Start the service. Install the Tiger VNC software on your local computer if it's not already installed. Tiger VNC is available for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. For Linux, the Tiger VNC package is available in the repositories of many distributions and can be installed using the respective package managers. For Mac OS, download and install Tiger VNC xyz.dmg, where xyz represents the latest version. 
For Windows, download and install Tiger VNC 64xyz.exe 64-bit or Tiger VNC XYZ EXE 32-bit where XYZ represents the latest version. On your local computer, use SSH to connect to your instance while creating a tunnel to forward all traffic on local port 5901 TCP VNC to the instance's VNC server. When connecting to your instance using SSH, add the hyphen L parameter to activate port forwarding. Replace your PEM file with your private key and instance IP with your instance's public or private IP as appropriate. When opening the connection with PuTTY, configure port forwarding and then open the connection. From the connection menu, choose SSH and then choose Tunnels. Enter 5901 in the source port field. Enter localhost 5901 in the destination field. Choose Add. Open the Tiger VNC viewer on your local computer. When asked for the VNC server host name, enter localhost1 and then connect to it. Enter the VNC password that you set up when you installed Tiger VNC. If an alert appears stating that the connection isn't secure, disregard it. You're accessing the VNC server using an encrypted SSH tunnel. Your mate desktop environment appears. Optional, install a web browser, x86 only. AWS doesn't provide web browsers such as Chromium or Firefox in Amazon Linux 2 repositories. To install one of these browsers, follow the steps below. Note that AWS doesn't provide support for software installed from third-party sources. The instructions below apply to EC2 instances based on 64-bit Intel and AMD processors x86 underscore 64. These third-party sources don't support instances based on Graviton processes Arch64. To confirm your instance's architecture, run the following command. To install Chromium, open source project behind Google Chrome, do the following. Activate the EPEL repository. Install Chromium packages. Chromium installs on Mate and Applications Internet Chromium web browser. To install Mozilla Firefox for current user only, do the following. Download the latest Firefox version for Linux 64-bit to your local computer. After downloading Firefox, copy the file to your instance. Extract the file contents. The command below indicates that the file is in the EC2 user's home directory. Change the path and Firefox version as needed. Using Vim or your favorite editor, create a desktop icon. Create the file folder forward slash desktop forward slash Firefox dot desktop with the contents as shown in the following example. Use the icon you set in the desktop entry file on your desktop to launch Firefox. If a prompt appears about the application launcher marked as not trusted, choose mark as trusted and then double click to open Firefox. So now you know how to install a GUI in an EC2 instance running on Amazon Linux 2. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.